Hello friends, welcome to your very own channel Sony Singh Physics. In this video, I am going to talk about some of the laboratory apparatus. This video will be helpful for you in your practical examination as well as theoretical questions also. <laughs> is calipers among that it is dial caliper as per the name you can see there is a dial over there and you can look into that and take the reading second is digital caliper and as per the name we can see directly reading on the caliper so here it is 26.5 this is thickness caliper then the next is what are the parts of caliper these are different parts of a caliper and the important one what we need to use in our calculation that is main scale reading, vernier scale reading. How to use vernier caliper and this is the way how we should use it. Next is how we do calculation of vernier caliper, how we take reading over there. So formula for calculation is MSR that is main scale reading plus VSR that is vernier scale reading into least count. Least count is equal to smallest reading on main scale divided by number of divisions or vernier scale. So that is equal to 1 millimeter by 10. 1 mm is the smallest reading on main scale and 10 is the number of divisions on vernier scale. So least count of vernier caliper is 0.1 mm or 0.01 centimeter. This is one sample question and we will see what is the reading of this object, what is the diameter of this object in this caliper. So here main scale reading is 2.4 and how we take main scale reading, we have to see that 0 of vernier scale is coinciding with which number of main scale. So here it is 2.4. Then VSR that is vernier scale reading is equal to 7. So how we take that reading, we have to see that after 0, which is the first number of vernier scale is going to coincide with main scale. So here it is 7, 7 into least count that will be equal to 0 0.07. So the value will be 2.4 plus 7 into 0 0.1 that is sorry 0 0.01 that is equal to 2.47 centimeter. Next is micrometer screw gauge. These are some of the screw gauge. The micrometer screw gauge is used to measure even smaller dimensions than the vernier caliper. What are the parts of screw gauge? So as you can see here, pitch scale, then circular scale, then ratchet, then screw, stud, frame and thimble. So these are the important parts of screw gauge but here also we used to take pitch scale reading and circular scale reading to calculate the value in our measurement. So how to use screw gauge? This is the way how we should use it. Calculation of screw gauge. Total reading on the screw gauge will be equal to pitch scale reading plus circular scale reading into least count. Least count of the screw gauge will be equal to pitch divided by total number of divisions on the circular scale. Pitch of the screw gauge is defined as the distance moved by the spindle per revolution which is 1 mm. So 1 mm is the pitch of screw gauge. Least count of screw gauge will be equal to 1 mm divided by 100 that is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter. This is one sample question and we will see that what is the diameter of this sphere. So here pitch scale reading is, reading is equal to 12. Circular scale reading is 98 as you can see here and least count is 0 0.01 mm. So total reading will be equal to 12 plus 98 into 0 0.01 that is equal to 12.98 millimeter. 
So the diameter of this sphere is 12.98 millimeter. This is component holder and as per the name this is used to hold components. The component holder with 4 mm sockets connectors is an instrument for holding the electronic components such as resistors, capacitors, LEDs, LDR etc. This is G clamp and this is the picture of G clamp. G clamp also known as C clamps are suitable for holding and securing objects in a place. In our physics lab also we use this one to hold stand boss and clamp formally on the table. What is boss and clamp? This is boss and clamp. The boss head clamp is used for holding a clamp to a ring stand rod, extension rod and more. It is a right angle boss head and must have for ring stands. This is one laboratory setup where we use boss and clamp. Next is slotted masses and mass hanger. These are slotted masses. This is mass hanger. And this is a laboratory setup with where we are using this one. This is just to show you. Next is pulley. This is pulley. And this is one diagram uh, which will show that, which is showing that how we use pulley in our physics lab. What are the types of oscillation in physics practical? So generally we have two types of oscillation. One is vertical oscillation and other is horizontal oscillation. We calculate oscillation by taking the number of 10 and divided by 10 that will be time period of one oscillation. Blue tag that's the next one which is commonly used in physics lab and blue tag is reusable putty like pressure sensitive adhesive produced by Bostick commonly used to attach lightweight objects such as poster or sheet of paper and in our physics lab we use this to uh, hold nail and all in the stand. So this is one uh, picture which, we, which is showing that how we use blue tag in our physics lab. Friends, if you find this video is helpful for you, then please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.